Aaron Judge is the most imposing power hitting in baseball today. The New York Yankees slugger has averaged a home run every 11.7 at bats. In other words, it's not a great idea to give him any extra help. But recently alleged events have proven otherwise. This May in Toronto, a judge at bat gave off some controversy. In between pitches, while he was in the batter's box ready to swing, his eyes shifted towards the Yankees' dugout. It was something immediately noted by Blue Jays' announcers. On the next pitch, he hit a towering home run. It led to a days-long discussion, but no further examination by Major League Baseball. The reason for such scrutiny is certainly based on what was found the previous offseason. A study of more than 200 game-used baseballs from 2022 found more potent balls were put into action in specific circumstances. Postseason, All-Star games, and even in games when Judge was chasing the American League single-season home run record, a mark he surpassed by one homer. Before we dive deeper into each event, let's bring some context to the situations. Finding the outer edges of the rules have been going on in the sport of baseball since, well, baseball's rules have been implemented. Cheating is defined differently depending on who you ask. Alleged cheating in baseball has naturally evolved over time. Sign stealing is something of an art form in baseball, said the New York Times, which is tolerated, even admired. In 1951, the New York Giants used a sign stealing system which helped them forge an incredible late season charge to take the National League pennant from the rival Brooklyn Dodgers. It would be primitive by today's standards, but was elaborate at the time. It is somewhat clouded what the Giants accomplished. But because it was revealed in detail many years later, this didn't have the same vitriol as what would transpire out of 2017. The Houston Astros rose to prominence after several 100-plus loss seasons to win their first World Series, defeating the Yankees and Dodgers in the process. No more than three years later, an investigation concluded the Astros had violated rules with the use of technology to steal signs of opposing teams during the 2017 and 2018 seasons. They lost money, draft picks, personnel, and much of their positive reputation. The Yankees aren't immune to this kind of controversy. In 2022, a letter written five years ago from Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred stated the team used dugout telephones and a relay system from their replay review room to steal opposing signs in 2015 and 2016. Pitchers have resorted to doctoring the baseball with pine tar or sandpaper to create more grip or movement. But while those substances, if found, would result in an ejection and suspension, pitchers like Gaylord Perry admitted to applying Vaseline and his Hall of Fame chances weren't affected. 1987 was known for the rabbit ball. Home runs saw a sharp increase from years prior, and there were questions throughout the season about whether MLB had attempted to juice the balls. There was no concrete evidence for what took place that year. In 2019, more home runs were hit than in any regular season in history allegations that MLB deliberately altered balls to increase offense. An outside report concluded that it was due to consistent seam heights and players embracing launch angle. Doubts still remained as the postseason saw far less homers. Fast forward to 2022, the year Aaron Judge chased Roger Maris's mark of 61 home runs in a single season. Once the all-time record, it remained the Yankee standard and the highest by any American League player. Judge maintained a pace to break it throughout the summer. A report by Insider revealed the league had multiple game balls in circulation, varying in their ability to travel. Lighter baseballs were less prone to leave the yard, heavier juice balls more prone, and the in-between version known as Goldilocks balls. MLB has said it would commit to using only the lighter, deader balls during the 2022 season. However, the Goldilocks balls were implemented in the postseason, all-star games, home run derby, and regular season games of importance. The report from Insider claims that when MLB sensed history in the making down the stretch, they began to supply the Yankees with the Goldilocks balls and thus giving those hitters, Judge included, a better chance of hitting home runs. Judge indeed surpassed Maris with 62 homers. The feat made Judge the first player without credible performance-enhancing drug connections to get that high. It also helped Judge win the MVP award and solidified a massive contract in free agency that offseason. Now, let's move to the following May. Judge is facing reliever Jay Jackson at visiting Rogers Center. As you see, Judge is peering to his right, the direction of his team's dugout instead of looking at the pitcher. Blue Jays broadcasters Dan Shulman and Buck Martinez noticed this too. Watch what he's looking at. Yeah. What is that? Where is he looking? Where is he looking? And he did In it more than dugout? once. Yeah. yeah. It's really, really unusual. Batters usually only look away from the pitcher when they're trying to get a sign about what's coming to the plate. Then. He hit it a country mile for his second home run of the night. A 462-foot mammoth home run. 
After the game, Judge said he was reacting to some stirring in the dugout in the wake of his manager being ejected for arguing balls and strikes. This was not a claim bought by Blue Jays manager John Schneider or the organization, which raised the concern of the situation with MLB. It's kind of odd that a hitter'd be looking in that direction, Schneider said. He's obviously looking in that direction for a reason. Judge fired back, upset about claims he was bending the rules. I'm not happy about it, he said bluntly, but people could say what they want. I still got a game to play. I got things to do. Despite the uproar it caused, MLB did not investigate the matter on the basis of no indication of any rules violations. Past history, for which Judge has not been a party to as far as we know, is to blame for the uproar. It's easy to dislike the Yankees, the most hated team in baseball, especially if there are past allegations of sign stealing. And the biggest target, both physically and metaphorically, is Judge. His personality's never given off anything to detest him. His on-field numbers certainly do. Aaron Judge is more a product of a sport that has more or less accepted the spirit of the rules approach and hasn't been fully upfront when it comes to regulating the sport.